I don't mind it. It's kind of cool. And look what I found that I just wanted to bring to you guys. That's a two story. I think it's about a 16 by 24. Um, let's go take a look. All right, so when you come in, it's gonna be a little bit dark. There's not a ton of windows, but as you come in, something that I am pretty, it is cool that they have the two by tens up here. Uh, we have some two by tens underneath our loft one of our lofts because there's really no framing. If you have some framing under here, I think you could probably get away with just doing two by eights or two by sixes. But it's completely open framing, so they have the big two by tens. One thing that is pretty neat is they have it sitting on the top plate. So that's kind of impressive. I haven't seen that. Of course, I am not a construction guy. You can make fun of me. I'm not a guy that does construction, so I don't really know what I'm talking about. Just experiencing some of these shed to houses that, you know, you can do a shed to studio, you can do a shed to a full cabin, or to a shed to a house, a she shed, he shed, all the sheds. Got some, some windows, it's not that bad. The windows are, look like they're not all that great. I prefer a little bit higher quality window. This is kind of more like a little office space that you can have. I, I do actually really like the stairs. The stairs are pretty, pretty nice and safe and wide. So they're not too steep. They did a really good job with that. And you know, you could use underneath the stairs. I always like stairs better than ladders. Okay, so you can see some of the, so sitting on the top plate, and then how they, they have the brackets here. So that's good and strong. This is how they did the rails. We're gonna have to figure out how to do our rails for our shed to house. Okay, let's go ahead and take you upstairs. Again, this is a two-story. This is upstairs now of course there's a lot more little windows in here so it looks like it's very very spacious in here so you come around i mean this is totally the the floor is a little spongy so i would you know suggest upgrading the floor as you can see i am standing up and there is a lot a lot of headspace it is not something that you know i don't have to duck down this is pretty impressive that they could come here and they could build this and here in a bit I'll show you the price for this building. Looks really good, really spacious. Uh, this could easily be, man, I mean this could possibly even be like a two bedroom little space up here, to be honest. I mean it could be two small spaces for kids, um, could be sleeping lofts, um, I mean, you could do a lot of stuff with this. Now what does this say? The coolest shed around. Okay, so this, so they did a radiant barrier sheathing. Okay, I guess that's what this is. So they did a radiant barrier up at the top. It's not hot right now, so I don't know how efficient it is. It's, it's colder out here in Texas right now. Uh, you can see what they did with, you know, that's, that's just the roof right there. So there's not anything else on top of this. And so, and also it appears, now this is, they did a really good job in terms of the, the trusses here, but you know, those are just two by fours, but they did a lot of bracing in there. So maybe that helps it. All in all guys, there's not a lot to gripe about. This is pretty cool. I've done, I've looked at some Home Depot tough sheds and it stunk like it just, it was really creaky and weak. This is a pretty solid one. I'm not gonna lie, this is pretty well done. The top plate there, I mean, every, the whole roof and everything is sitting on the top plate. That's, again, I don't know what I'm talking about. Maybe I'm not using the, the correct terminology, but I mean, this thing looks like it's pretty solid. And I know one thing about Tough Sheds is that they do let you customize and they come and they build on site. Now, you pay the extra premium for them building it on site. But, you know, that definitely opens up the possibility for more customization. It opens up the possibility for doing things on an actual foundation. It, heck, it opens up the fact that you don't have to clear stuff 
in order to get a big giant shed onto your property. What I don't like is that I'm not gonna be able to talk to someone. I'm just gonna talk to someone in the Home Depot over here and that's not all that great customer service. So uh, there might be a tough shed dealer that you're able to work directly with that has a little bit better customer service. The base price here is 14, so just over 14 grand. And then the price as shown is 24, uh, just under, just under 25 grand. Let's find out what the size is. Okay, so the size here, zoom in, size here is a 16 wide, so that's as wide as ours is, 24 long. So it's not very long. You know, maybe you can make this a little bit bigger. And this includes, guys, it's not that bad. I mean, the fact that you can get one of these for 388 a month, I mean, that's pretty, that's interesting. I don't mind it. It's kind of cool. It's, but again, you got to wait, you know, for 25 grand getting something like this. Of course, you'd want a little bit better doors and windows. Um, and you still have to pay for everything in terms of, does that include insulation? I don't know if this includes installation. Upgrades. Oh, price includes shed. Ins okay. So it does include the insulation. So if you're wanting to do something like this and have alternative housing, it might be something cool. Now the main thing about all of this shed to house is that you need to have a place to put it. So what I always recommend is do your own research and make sure you find out your state, local, and you know, city and local laws. The best bet is to find property that is outside of the city limits and has zero restrictions and then make sure that your county and your your state does not have building codes then it opens up that you can do something like this for our county we're outside of city limits we are unrestricted uh, we are unincorporated land and our county has no building permits codes or anything the only thing we have to do is like if we want a septic tank then we have to have a permit for it join our shed to house Facebook group and also find out all the information down below about getting our income expense report for building our 16 by 48 into our shed to house. Take one two by four yeah. onto here, coming down at an angle on the inside of these posts. Want to notch it a little bit around that top. post okay. to get a nice, yeah. so that it sits where you want it to. Yeah. So you can kind of grab it on either side. Gotcha. So you can